sorry to drag you all under this, but the fishermen can't think that Alliance was involved. Atlantis does not command the armies of Zebel. I do. And the Brian Kingdom has not forgotten its debt to you. You may count on us always. Something happened to me when I touched that black trident. Why is he even here? He should be on his way back to prison. You should hear what he has to say. I made that mistake once. That's why I know he can't be trusted. And he cut off my claw. This thing took a whole year to grow back. Look, he wants to stop Manta, same as we do. And just for the record, the only reason we made it this far is because of him. I saw the Lost Kingdom. Um, I don't know enough about this. Is that even possible? All anyone knows for sure is there was once the Seventh Kingdom, and then one day, just before the fall, every record of it was stricken from the Chronicles. How do you know what you saw was the Lost Kingdom? No one even knows what it was called anymore. It's called Necris. And I didn't just see it. I knew it. It's almost like I was remembering it. Flashes of someone else's memories. During King Atlan's time, there were seven United Kingdoms of Atlantis. And the Black City was a curse upon them all. By exploiting Orichalcum, Necris rapidly became a superpower unlike any other. But it came at a terrible price. Poisoning the land, the sea, even the mind of the tyrant who ruled Necris. Atlan's own brother, Cordax. Atlan pleaded with him to stop using it before the world was irrevocably damaged. However, Cordax resented Atlan, thinking his own brother was trying to steal his power. So he resorted to dark magic and crafted an instrument of evil. That black trident. He transformed his people and himself into monsters. To fight Atlantis. So the two brothers went to war. defeated Cordax and imprisoned him and all of Necris with a spell cast with his own blood to ensure that Cordax's dark power would never be found. And that is why Necris is stricken from the Chronicles. Evil was supposed to remain frozen for eternity. But David Kane has found it. And it's slowly possessing him. But even with the ice cap melting, Cordax still can't be freed. Atlan used blood magic to seal Cordax in his prison. Only Atlan himself could release him. Manta doesn't need Atlan himself. Manta needs Atlan's blood. Blood magic isn't really magic, it's DNA. The key to Cordax's prison is the royal bloodline itself. That means he needs blood from either you, me, or Arthur. We're the end of the bloodline. No, we're not.